Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to find duplicate frames within your timeline. Now, this might not seem like a really big problem, but if you're working on creating something like a music video or combining you know, a compilation sort of video to some music or something, when you do that, you usually have a bunch of B-roll uh, over here. So, you know, it's just stuff you shot in a general area, you know, um, whether it's a music video and it's just scenes of dancing or if there's maybe um, 18 different times you've done the dancing in like 18 different locations, you might have 18 different, you know, of the exact same thing over here. So many different scenarios where you're trying to, you know, just combine a bunch of footage together. When you do that, however, you can a lot of times accidentally put in duplicate frames. And what that means is that you're putting in the exact same thing twice without you actually wanting to do that. And this is very, very noticeable. If a movie ever did it, you know, there'd be thousands of people like, whoa, they, they reused a shot. They reused a scene somewhere. And it makes it look lower quality, like the editor wasn't on top where they ran out of footage to use. So Adobe Premiere actually has a couple ways of figuring out if you've used duplicate frames. The first way is if you um, go right here. So like, let's say uh, this scene is in here twice and you can actually click on this and it'll let you know where the two parts of the, the scene are. So, you know, you can click on it and it'll show you it starts here. And then if you um, click back on it, just on the blue box right here where it says video used two times, you can click on that again and it'll show you the other area it's used. So that's kind of nice to see if you know you've reused a piece of footage twice. However, that doesn't exactly show you, you know, if you've used the frames within that footage. So you can go right up here into timeline display settings and then up to show duplicate frame markers. And just like that, you'll see that these bars right here indicate that these are the exact same frames being used. So these frames right here were replicated right here. And, you know, it's sort of a, a stationary shot, so you wouldn't be able to, you know, kind of tell that with your eye unless you watched it a couple times. So what you can do is you can just go here, go to the, um, we can go to the slip tool, and that's just kind of going to slip the cut over. So if we drag it back, you'll see that both of the duplicate frame markers go away, meaning that the frames are no longer duplicated here. That It's the same piece of footage, but they're all unique frames within themselves. If you see, we slip it back a little bit you'll start to see that it will come back right there. You see now like just kind of how it works. You see that the top of this part of the video is right here. So these two, this over and this over is the same. Anyway, that's it on this really short sort of quick tip on Adobe Premiere Pro. Help you, you know, stay organized and not make a mistake like a rookie mistake of accidentally duplicating footage that you didn't want duplicated. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me. If you got any questions, comments, or ideas for future tutorials, go ahead and throw those in the comments below. If you want to see more Adobe-related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.